Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another video by Ratchet and Riches and today I'm going to show you how you can remove and replace your AC compressor clutch and bearing. And we're going to be doing this repair on this 2003 Ford Mustang GT with the 4.6 liter engine. Alright, here's a look at our engine bay and there's our AC compressor down there. And as far as why I think there's a problem with this AC compressor clutch or bearing is that with the engine on and the AC off, I can hear a small bearing sound and when I uh, turn on the AC it goes away as soon as I turn it on it goes away so basically that you know that makes me think that the bearing the AC compressor clutch bearing is probably worn or I guess the clutch itself could be bad too but uh, either way we're gonna replace them both but uh, yeah what we're gonna do next is basically take off our separate team belt and then we're gonna check that uh, AC compressor clutch for pulley for play also, we're going to check everything else because it's technically possible that the noise is coming from one of these other pulleys and just the motion of the AC compressor clutch engaging and causing more drag makes the noise from other pulleys goes away, but that's unlikely, but nonetheless, we're going to check those. Okay, in order to take off this belt, we put our 3 8 ratchet inside this tensioner, turn it clockwise, and just slide our belt off, okay? There we go. Okay, now with the belt off, we're going to just uh, quickly try to test these pulleys for a tensioner and a roller and this is pretty good these are pretty good bearings because I only replaced them uh, less than a year ago and they're still good you know what you want is that a nice firm spin on these on these pulleys and that will mean that the bearing it's still pretty good if it spins really really fast or if you feel anything or you hear anything then that means that bearing is going and you should probably re replace it but as you can see it's, it's pretty firm, it spins freely, but yet, you know, it's not too loose and there's no noise, nothing that you can feel and that's a good bearing. Just do the same thing for our tensioner and also this idler here too. Yeah, they all feel pretty good. So, yeah, our noise is not from, from these guys. You wanna do the same thing for your uh, alternator pulley. And also, you know, check it for play. There's no play in that. There's our water pump pulley. That one's also pretty nice and firm. No noise, nothing. So everything up top here is pretty good. So now we're gonna raise the vehicle and go check our uh, compressor pulley uh, from underneath, okay? Okay, it should go without saying. Lock your rear wheels and make sure you got your emergency parking brakes on and the car is in gear if it's manual or in park if it's an automatic. Okay, here's a look at our AC compressor, and here's a look at our AC compressor pulley, and this uh, this portion of the front, this is your AC compressor clutch, and your bearing is actually inside of this AC compressor pulley. Now we're just gonna spin this pulley, see if we can, uh, if you hear anything. Now I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's the actually the scraping sound that we hear when the car is running and the clutch not engaged and if you look even closer you can see that there is no space between our AC compressor clutch and our pulley right here there needs to be a space kinda like it is up front here I'll do a zoom in so you guys can see better this pulley rubbing against the AC compressor clutch yeah this AC compressor clutch is actually is loose here and it's not supposed to be this loose. Okay, next let's check for a play on the pulley side by just rocking it back and forth and yeah, I can feel a little bit of play but it's not excessive. You know, originally I thought the, the bearing inside this pulley was worn and there was extra excessive play or that the noise was coming from the bearing itself but now that we're down here, I'm actually pretty certain that it's the clutch. And it's rubbing against this AC compressor uh, pulley and giving us that noise. Okay, now as far as how we're gonna replace these, well, in uh, my, on my on this car, this is there's plenty of space here. Indeed, there wasn't even a, a weather shield underneath the car to that we had to remove to get to this, and there's plenty of space here, so we don't need to do anything. But on your car, it might be slightly more difficult. 
and if you need to uh, create more space by disconnecting the AC compressor from the engine bay there are four mounting bolts usually that I keep it in there is two on the bottom and then two on the side this one is also holding a bracket these guys and but once you remove those bolts actually before you remove them you want to make sure you disconnect your all your electrical connectors from your AC compressor on this compressor there's one on top here and then there is a uh, this wiring harness that attaches to the compressor and I think that's it but uh, on yours might be slightly different so you want to make sure you disconnect all the wires before you get these mounting bolts off and then yeah you just remove the mounting bolts and then this AC compressor you can you can you know move it down a little bit to create more space for you and you know move it to the left or right depending on uh, whatever engine you're working on but the good thing is you won't usually have to disconnect your AC compressor lines you know your high and low pressure uh, lines that go to your compressor just make sure you don't really pry on the compressor with those things attached to it because then you'll create a leak and then you have to fix that at a later date okay okay now as far as how we're going to hold this in place while we twist off that bolt is uh, i'm just going to get my screwdriver get it in here and then get my uh, ratchet with the 10 millimeter hold the pulley with my left hand and then twist this 10 millimeter bolt off there we go yep we got it loose okay next we're gonna slide this off but go slow because there's gonna be spaces between the clutch and the pulley and actually now that I think about it we might have a problem with our spacers uh, either being worn or broken that's why there's not enough uh, space between here well actually no because this is broken so never mind <laughs> you know, and you want to make sure you catch if anything falls out okay there we go there's our clutch uh, here's our pulley. Here's a look at your clutch. And it looks like there's spacers in there. So we'll get them out if we go to install a new clutch. And uh, yeah, we go from there. Okay. Okay, next in order to take this pulley out, there's a snap ring here that I'll show you with my, uh, with my mirror in a bit. And we'll need a pair of uh, snap link pliers to get them out. Okay. Alrighty, and here's a closer look at the snap ring that's in there. There we go. Here's our snap ring. Okay, now I believe we should be able to slide this off of here after we remove the snap ring, but this is on here really tight. So actually gonna spray this with some uh, freeze off or PB blaster and let it sit for 10-15 uh, minutes then we're gonna come back and try it again. You know what, actually at first I'm gonna try some uh, brake clean, see if I can clean this off. Okay, this thing's been sitting for 15-20 minutes and I also uh, cleaned it up with some uh, brake clean and then sprayed some more PB blaster on here. And still, this cannot budge this. So, what we're gonna do next is actually, I know I usually advise against this but in this case we don't have much of a choice. Uh, we're gonna wedge this pry bar behind it and then we're gonna slightly pull on it and then we're gonna rotate, pull on it, rotate, pull on it that way. You know it's not binding and it's your uh, best chance of getting it to come out evenly okay so let's start a little bit there a little bit more all right looks like it's gonna take a while but it's gonna come off eventually okay all righty finally all right here's a look at our pulley and this is our bearing right here Okay, here's a look at our uh, pulley, and this is our bearing inside. Now, this is a good bearing. It's worn, but it's not bad, as in there's no play, there's no noise. I mean, when you spin it, it spins a lot faster than, you know, a new bearing, but there's no play in it. But since it's, this is only $15, we're going to replace this as well. But our main problem for this car was our uh, AC compressor clutch. So we're definitely going to replace that as well. Okay, so yeah, next I'm going to show you how you can... Uh, take this out of this pulley and replace it with a new one. Okay, and the way to take out this bearing is to basically hammer it out. Hammer it out from here and out this side. And when it's time to put in the new bearing, it's gonna go in the same way, okay? Next, we're just gonna put it on a couple of pieces of uh, two by fours. Next, we get a solid socket that's on the right size of the bearing. And then, 
We'll just give it a couple of good whacks and then this thing moved and it's blocking it, but as you can see, it's starting to come out, okay? There we go, free and clear. Okay, in the process of taking this, hammering this bearing out, we damaged it and it's actually, it's broken now. <laughs> but, uh, so when it's time to put the new one, I'm gonna use a different method uh, and I'll show you that in a bit. But uh, yeah, first I'm gonna go get a new bearing and a new uh, compressor uh, clutch, then uh, we'll start the video then. All right now, so it's the next day and we got the parts we need. Here's our uh, new bearing. You just wanna make sure it's the same size as the old one. Everything matches and it's a fit. So what we're gonna do next is to put this back in the, our uh, pulley, but first we're gonna get some brake clean and some rags and thoroughly clean the inside of this. Also uh, clean this uh, contact surface as well, okay? Okay, now as far as how we're gonna put this back in, well, I found an exact size socket that's gonna, that's the exact circumference of this bearing, and we're gonna just start it with this, uh, with the hammer method, but then I'm gonna use my uh, bench vise to press it in all the way, because I'd rather use the vise than to hammer on this, if I can help it. But you know, this is going in pretty easy, so if you don't have a vise, you can just probably just get away with this. In fact, you know what, this is pretty safe. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it with this. Here we go, all in there and this pulley is spinning freely now. Okay, and here's a look at the clutch I got out of a junkyard. This, I paid 10 bucks for this. You know, my other choice was uh, going and getting a complete kit, which included the bearing, a clutch, the pulley, uh, our coil, and that would have cost about $150 plus, so 10 bucks for this and then $15 for the bearing seemed like a no-brainer to me since really our only bad part was this clutch and this, uh, this outer part which was loose and was uh, making the noise, but since we're in there, we're gonna replace the bearing too. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna clean this uh, contact surface and then we're gonna start putting things back together. Okay, before we put everything back together, here's a quick demonstration of how this whole thing works, okay? Uh, the shaft of your AC compressor goes through this bearing of the pulley and under normal circumstances when the AC is off, this shaft is, uh, is not turning and only the pulley is turning, okay? This happens because there's a bearing in the middle of them and you know, we can have the shaft not turning and only the, uh, the pulley turning. But uh, when you turn the AC on, your coil, which is still on our AC compressor as of right now, and, uh, which is, and it's located through here, when that becomes energized, it pulls the clutch and it locks it in with the pulley. The, your clutch is connected to the end of the shaft of your AC compressor, uh, so it is actually directly connected to the shaft. So when these both lock in, then the both will be turning, therefore the shaft of your AC compressor will be tur turning as well. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that's a very crude explanation of this, but I uh, hope that makes sense. All right, what we're gonna do next is to get the spacers that's inside of our old compressor clutch. Which is these three, as you can see. And we're gonna put them in the, uh, the one we're gonna be using now. But make sure you get the spacers out of this one too if there's any still in there. Okay. Okay, and here's a look at our coil and we're gonna wipe this down too before we put everything back on, okay? Okay, so next we'll install our pulley. There we go. Make sure it goes in all the way and seated properly. Okay, now this uh, pulley hasn't gone all the way. We haven't been able to press it in by hand all the way to expose that little uh, ridge that we would put our C-clip in. So, I'm gonna find a way to tap this in the rest of the way. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of uh, swing room here. So we're gonna have to improvise. First, I'm gonna try to put this handle over here then tap it from, okay, yeah, that works, there we go. That was easier than I expected. All right, but uh, but yeah, you know, if you don't have a lot of swing room, just take off the AC compressor, like I showed earlier, and so you have more room to work on these parts, okay? All right, next we put on our C-clip. Watch your fingers. Okay. 
probably a good idea to be using a screwdriver instead of your fingers. But there we go. Okay, next we install our new clutch. Make sure none of those spacers fall out as you're going to put this back in. All right, and let's just test drive this quickly. All right, great. No noise. Nothing is catching. All right, now next, there's one more thing we need to check, and that's the space between your clutch and your pulley. And we're going to do that by some filler gauges, but we're just going to run the screw down just to keep everything in place so that we get a good reading, okay? Okay, next it's time to do our measurement, and the spec for this is 0.014 thousandths of an inch to 0.03 thousandths of an inch. That's the distance you want between your clutch and your pulley. So I got my filler gauge, this is the 0.01 four thousandths of an inch. We're going to see if this fits through there and it does. A little too easy <laughs> perhaps. So next we're going to get the 0.03 thousandths of an inch fill gauge and test it for that with that. All right and here's 0 0.03 and as you can see this one is also going in there rather a little easily so what we're going to do is uh, take this compressor clutch out. Okay so after removing one of the spacers now we can get 0.18 thousandths of an inch in there and that's on the lower side of the spec but you know still within spec so and what we're going to do next is to tie in this bolt throw in our separate team belt and test our AC compressor there we go and we should be good to go now okay next I'm going to get in the car and turn on the engine and then turn on the AC and you guys will be able to tell if there is any noise still and uh, you know, I should have done it before video, but since this is an intermittent problem, I, you know, I waited 15-20 minutes before I started uh, shooting this to, for it to happen, but uh, it didn't, so there's no before video. But you guys saw how it was, as this was, as we turned the pulley by hand without the belt on, how it was catching and making that, uh, that noise. So, okay. <laughs> Okay, and that's all there is to removing and replacing your AC compressor clutch and bearing. Uh, just to point out though, if the only thing on bad on your AC compressor is the AC compressor clutch, you can just replace that very easily. Just take off that 10 millimeter bolt, slide it out, and slide it in a new one. Uh, again, I had a hard time finding a clutch itself by itself, and that's why I went to the junkyard and got one. But uh, you know, if you look around online, maybe you'll be able to find just the clutch by itself, and then. If you can wait for it, just uh, do that. Uh, also make sure that if you buy a new clutch, it comes with uh, new spacers. Because uh, as you saw, we had to do some adjusting. And you know, you might have to add spacers. In our case, we had to take off spacers. But in your case, you might have to add spacers. So you want to make sure you get some spacers uh, for with your new AC clutch. Okay, so yeah, I hope this video helps people out there. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.